Hey, what is up guys? Justin here back bringing you the trade day results for this legendary trade day and you guys absolutely gave me a shit ton of offers to check so sit back relax I will go through the offers once again and see what we get and definitely the thousand right there you can see uh, that's actually just from uh, the troll trades from the Ryan Nugent Hopkins and I'm, I'm pretty impressed you guys uh, send it all on Nugent Hopkins and not on anyone else my Nugent Hopkins is a thousand and seventy three troll trades so I'm just gonna randomly choose one before this video starts and then uh yeah we'll just get it going so oh Ilya Briskolov all right I'm gonna close my eyes and can I can I hold this no I cannot hold it so you got you got you gotta tap it like this all right so I'll give it around uh, it's always the same card so it doesn't really matter but I don't know how this exactly works but there you go enjoy your Ryan Nugent Hopkins and I will take the plus seven hand so hopefully one of you guys won post it in the comment box below if you did win but we got to go through Doug Gilmore, Pavel Burry, Luke Robitaille, Pekka Rene, and Chris Letang. So let's start off from the bottom. Uh, and now we're here. So Chris Letang, let's get that one up. So 9,000 uh, coins and a gold contract. Not too bad. 15.5. That's a lot better. I can reject that. And someone told me to speed up the trade day results a little bit. Uh, so that's what I will do. 400 pucks I can reject. Um, and you guys let me know. Would you rather have these trade days faster or slower? You guys let me know because I can analyze the offers a bit more or I could try calculate as fast as possible and then just quickly go in through them, right? Uh, but Mike Richards, Landeskog, Wisniewski, reject. Uh, what else do we got here? Pominville, reject. Um, the 15.5k definitely looks not bad. David Krejci is worth like 5k, I know that. I know so many people have been pulling Krejci and just, he's worth shit. Uh, Chris Gunitz, uh, no thanks. He is on the pits for Penguins, but don't exactly need him. And then reject that deal. Uh, let's see what else. Patrick Sharp in 5k. Is Patrick Sharp worth 12? I think he might be. Oh, and then this deal. Patrick already, Mike Smith, Jordan Stahl, and Craig Anderson. A lot of, uh, a lot of pretty good players. They're not bad. Uh, Patrick already, I think still 3 to 4k. Jordan Stahl, I'm gonna guess at least still 3 to 4k. So you're getting a good amount of pucks and value there. But Patrick Sharp is pretty good. You know what? I will go for this deal right here. I think this is the better deal. I'm not exactly sure, and someone told me that I should check the values of the deals after, so I just I might just do that. So let's go to item inbox. So we got 7.5k from that. This, oh, Eric Jordan Stall, I mean, worth 1.8k, so you're getting about, what, 1,900? Uh, you're getting about 1,900, or what am I saying? What am I saying? I'm getting 9k with uh, Patch already. That You're getting about 14, 15k. So yeah, we did make our money back. That was a good deal. I, I can just see it's a good deal, alright? So now that that's gone, we have 55 trades on 4 players here. And we still got Pavel Burry to go through, so that's going to be pretty crazy. Anyways, Doug Gilmore, up for 75000 start price. Let's view the trade offers, see what we get here. And James Neal, Jeff Carter, McDonough, and Bo Meester. Not a half bad deal. I will uh, delay it. Robida, recover 4 games. Uh, let's see what, we, what else we got here. Mike Richards, uh, not really worth too much. I know he's 88 overall, but... No one really wants him at the moment. Uh, Spurgeon, no. 5.5k Claude Giroux. I'm actually not sure how much Claude Giroux is worth anymore, but I will have to check a little bit later. Alex Burrows, uh, 45k. Not horrible, but I like the Claude Giroux a little bit better. I think Claude Giroux is still worth above 45k, uh, but I think I'm going to take a chance at these deals anyways. 37k, no thanks. Um, and then what else do we got here? 20k Bobby Ryan. I think that Claude Giroux, I think it's the best deal right now. Anze Kopitar, Daniel Sedin, yeah. Uh, Anze Kopitar is around, what, 45 to 50k. But Daniel Sedin? That's that's a keeper. That might be a keeper. Uh, Carey Price, Carlson Oshi, and Martin St. Louis. Uh, some guy told me to reject this deal on Twitter. Uh, I just kind of read it before I started this trade deal results video. So I think this is the offer he was talking about. So I will reject that for him. Uh, no problem there. Uh, we got Gross Nick. Ooh. Uh, Yager, Eric Johnson, and 2K. So I'm guessing Grossnick was the guy that uh, made his NHL debut and then got a shutout, right? Pretty crazy. Um, other than that, I don't really know. 25K Kessler. No, I can reject that. And the final offer on Doug Gilmore is 39K Nyquist, change team Detroit, uh, Los Angeles, and Pittsburgh. I'm not exactly sure if I want this deal. Uh, Nyquist, he's still 84 overall, like his normal card, right? Uh, so you're getting about 50k maybe, and then the change teams. No thanks to that. I'm going to reject that. Uh, okay, so Grossnick, I really would like to uh, get him, but 
the thing is he's not worth too much. Same with Yager and Eric Johnson. They're just players that uh, are kind of filler, um, and I don't really need it. I know it's like a variety pack there, but I'm not too interested in that for Doug Gilmore, the legend card himself. But uh, James Neal, Jeff Carter, Ryan McDonough, Jay Bowmeister. Bowmeister is worth not too much uh, these days. He's like 1 to 2k. Jeff Carter, I know, is a solid 20 to 25k maybe. Uh, with the Ryan McDonough, you're getting about 15 maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know about that deal. But I think Claude Drew is the way to go with this one because I think he's worth still around 60 to 70k plus. So I'm going to take that deal. Enjoy your Doug Gilmore. A little bit unexpected there, but you know what? I'm going to take that deal. Not going to think about it too much, but I want to quickly check the value of Claude Drew before we start uh, the next one. But I just, I want to check out if it was a good deal or if it was a bad deal. And you guys can uh, tell me in the comment box below as well. But Claude Drew worth 68000 with the 5k pucks. You got around 72 k for Doug Gilmore, and that's a pretty good deal. I think I made a little bit of money off that, because uh, I think... Um, What's his name? Doug Gilmore. I paid around 55 to 56k for him, so uh, I got a pretty good deal for him at least. So 42 trade offers. We're nearing the end of the road here, and we got Luke Robitaille and Pekka Rene. I'll check Luke, Luke Robitaille first uh, before I start, uh, but let's see what we got here. Zach Parise. Not worth too much, but I will uh, delay it. Seabrook, Latang, Chris Neal, Krejci for Luke Robitaille. That is actually a solid deal. I will delay it. Plus 7 rebound control, yeah, a couple troll traits, I'm guessing. Uh, Claude Giroux, Bertuzzi, Peros. I might not be afraid to pick up another Claude Giroux. We'll have to see. 50k Clark MacArthur I can reject. We got a 75k uh, star price, or coins. Uh, that's pretty solid. I'm going to reject the Parise. Uh, what else do we got here? 20k Seabrook round 1520, yeah, Latang. Um... That's around 50, 60k. You know what? I would rather take the 70k for that deal uh, just because I don't have to sell all those guys. Uh, Claude Giroux is not worth 75k, so we can reject that straight up, right? Jamie Benn, also not worth 75 Reject that. There was a Shattenkirk in there, but even that, like, this deal is not too great for me. I don't really want that. Uh, Vanek, Giordano, Stahl, and a 15-game duration. Uh, Paris and McDonough, McKinnon. Hmm. That is actually not too bad. I will delay it. Pekka Rene and 43k. I think Rene is still worth like above 30, 40k. So I'll have to check that again. But 60k contract, we can reject that. We can reject that Krejci deal uh, that I just saw for 20k. And this video should not be too long if I can get through this. Uh, Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe, McDonough, Latang. I can reject that. There's, eh, I'm not too interested in those 4 for 1 deals. Especially when they're not exactly the value right there. Um, but Kari Lennon, 45k. Because mostly, I'm just going to be selling these guys anyways, so there's no point of me taking four players while I can just take 75k, right? That's about Luke Robitaille's value. Uh, but, Parise McDonough McKinnon, or this deal, Pekka Rene in 43k. I want to quickly check the value of Pekka Rene. I know I don't usually like doing this, but I'll do it for the sake of the video, because I think uh, it's a pretty good way to check uh, Rene's value, and you guys can see. But, uh, goalie, uh, NHL, and on national, right? I think I already have a... Uh, Movember version of Pecorine, so I don't know. Nashville Predators, and let's see how much he's worth. You guys will be able to see. 41k, I'm just going to click the down stick and see what he's worth. 37k. 37k. That's not half bad. Because, uh, you know what, we got 43k with that, right? So that's what, 80k, I think? So that's pretty solid. I will double check if that was the offer. But Luke Robitaille, mm -hmm. going for that price, pretty, pretty solid. You know what? Uh, 43k. And then Pekka Rene is 37, you're getting about 80k uh, around there, right? So I'm going to take that deal, enjoy your Luke Robitaille, and I'm going to take this one instead of the other ones, because I just don't want to check the values for those guys too much. Alright, but anyways, we got two players left, Pekka Rene with 13 trade offers, uh, on the cl or we got 13 trade offers left uh, for Pekka Rene. So, we got a regular Rene, we already know, he goes for around 35 to 40k, with the Patrick Sharp, Spetsa McKinnon, not too bad. I will delay it. Bobrovsky, uh, McDonough, Carter, Couture. Another solid deal. 92 overall, Tuka Rask in 40k. I think Tuka Rask is above 40k, so you're getting a really good value there. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think this deal, I think Tuka Rask is still 80k, so you're getting about 120k for Pecorine. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, 40k, Victor Hedman. Uh, Miller, Steen. I think it's pretty solid. I think I know what offer I'm going to take already. Bergeron. Ooh, with Ryan Miller, Patrick Eddie Richards, yeah. 
uh, Kopitar, Nolan, Nolan on the what? What was that? Nolan on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Pecorini, Mark Giordano, uh, 5K, Eric Carlson, Patrick Marlowe, Thornton, and Shattenkirk. That's actually not too bad. But when you look at the other deal, that's worth about 120K, right? Bobrovsky, Bufflin, Luongo, uh, and Evander Kane. No thanks for that. And we got Max Domi, Brower, Pavelski, and Jamie Benn. You know what? That's the offer I'm going to take. Uh, the 40K and Tuka Rask. I don't think you can go wrong with that. So enjoy your Pecorini. I will take the 40K. You guys let me know who sent that in. But that was a really good deal. I don't even know. But here is what we really wanted. Pavel Bure. 675k star price. Let's see how much he is going for. Uh, Jonathan Taves. Alright, alright. Jonathan Taves as the first trade. Luke Robitaille. Zach Parise. Yakov Voracek in 210k. I can already tell that this deal is not worth it. So I'm going to reject it. Uh, unfortunately. Because I know uh, Jonathan Taves. I think it's worth quite a bit still. Uh, we got Kia. No thanks for that. And then what else do we got? Mario Lemieux. Ooh. Mario Lemieux. 6'4", 225 pounds. I think Burry is like 6'1", 180. Oh, man. I do like Lemieux. Uh, Lemieux is worth around the same value as Pavel Burry right now, I think. Uh, I see. I saw a couple Pavel Burry selling for around 660k. Same with Lemieux. So that's a pretty solid deal, in my opinion. I will delay it. 502k, Mike Smith. Mmm. I'm not too interested in this deal. There's a lot of pucks there, but if I'm going to take Lemieux straight up, I would rather take Lemieux straight up. Uh, same with Jonathan Taves. I'm going to have to check him. He is 93 overall, but then again, there was a hot live version of him posted out. Uh, I think he's 95 overall or something like that, right? Oshi Cox, reject that. I'm losing my voice here. Holy crap, I can hear it. Uh, but Mike Bossy, he's worth around 150k with Getzlaff. Definitely not adds up to 600k, so I'll reject that. Uh, we got Taylor Hall, Datsu, Hedman, and Price. Definitely under 600k in my opinion. Uh, Victor Hedman doesn't go for too much. Datsu doesn't go for too much. Taylor Hall, what, 150 now? So I'm going to reject that. I'd rather take Lemieux straight up. I do like Lemieux. I, he was one of my favorite players, let's say, in uh, NHL 14 last year. So I might just try him out. We'll see. But Tavares, Doughty, Ben, and Garland. Fully boosted Garland. Uh, but, <coughs> sorry about that. Tavares? I don't think it goes for too much. Uh, he is 91 overall, but he is a Movember. Might not be worth the most. So I'm going to... I think I'm going to reject this deal. Not too interested in that one. Uh, those two deals in the beginning. Lemieux and Taves, definitely the leading ones. Bertuzzi, plus 5 all. Assistant Captain, Duration. Reject. 500,000. Dickinson and Mr. Mustache Man, Peros. Uh, no thanks for that. Uh, not enough pucks for that one, or not enough players. Henrik Zetterberg, Lupul Cassian. A purple Zetterberg. Great flavored Zetterberg. Uh, I don't think I want to take that. Because I know Zetterberg is not worth too much. And he's boosted. He might have like a plus two all on him or something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, so I'm going to reject that straight up. I don't think he's worth Pavel Burry's value. Uh, what is this? 480k Brian Boyle, Yager. Pretty much instant reject. I like the Lemieux better. 5k Suter, Kessler, Howard, Krejci. Reject that. I'm sorry about that. I know I'm running through these, but I want to get these trade day results done as soon as possible. 610,000 and Marty Hansel. I don't think I'm going to take this one either. Uh, like, I'm not exactly looking for pucks, like, in, by any means necessary. I'm really looking just for a solid deal. And I think this one, Lemieux, I don't think I don't think he can be too much. Uh, Matt Duchesne, Kopitar Tavares, and Giroux. Um, 100k, 200 300 no i'm gonna reject that as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check the value of taves and lemieux right now and see how much they go for and then we'll do a little bit of comparison uh whichever one goes for more i think i will take because i do like taves i do like lemieux so we're gonna have to check i don't i do know what lemieux's value is right now the question is how much is jonathan taves's value right now to accept that pavel burry right but chicago two-way forward this should be it uh, but 533k, 579k. So it goes for almost 100k less than Lemieux right now. So that is the offer I'm going to take for Lemieux. and Or not for Pavel Burry. I'm going to take Lemieux for that deal. It's a pretty solid one. This one's worth 575. We can reject that. And this deal, Lemieux, worth around 650 to 675k. So I will take that deal. Enjoy your Pavel Burry. And I will end off the trade day results right there. That was a pretty exciting one. Uh, for sure, with Pavel Burry, and we accepted a Lemieux for that deal. And someone sent in a Tuka Rask in 40k for my Movember uh, 
November, what do you call it, Rene. So that was absolutely insane. But this was not too long of a trade day result. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. If you guys want to see another one, please leave a like on this episode. Uh, it really does mean a lot, and I always get a ton of support on the, these videos. I just figured it out. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it. You guys leave a comment box, uh, leave a comment in the comment box below uh, what player I should buy next and what player I should throw up onto my trade block next time that you guys might want to send a trade to. Even the high-end ones, I pretty much can buy. Uh, OV is not too much, I think. I might try an OV trade day soon, but anyways, that is just plans, but I'll see you guys later. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Comment or like or subscribe. Even just sending in a trade really does help uh, me make these videos. It definitely makes it a bit more exciting. And you can already see the players I have up right here. Uh, three legends. We got a November. Uh, we got Christmas King, obviously. And then we'll also have a little bit of a giveaway.